I'm going to show you the method I use for the level 146 to do it for instant repair, usually in the base, but if you get lucky, it can be on map. Hey everyone, Derby here. Welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. The 146 target has a lot more ships in it than the 144, and it also matters where you enter from. I generally like the bottom right, although I don't really know why. The most important thing is the techniques for killing each individual ship and part here rather than the exact path or exact approach, so that's what I'm going to try to demonstrate to you. Starting out, I'm going to engage this first group of ships and run away. Not directly away from them, but fairly close in a straight line, making sure I don't get trapped in the edge of the screen. I can stun all the ships here that come within the range of my Photon ECM flagship, and then shift a little bit over to kill everything else. You know, the Ghost Crawler is the only thing left here, and I can just kite it, which works really, really well, actually. Just make sure you go in a straight line when it is shooting at you, like right about now. You see I was moving in a straight line, so it's splash hit where I was, not where I am. It's a dumb fire weapon, and I reduced all damage there, didn't take any, maybe actually a tiny bit, 1% of that damage. So there's that first way out of the line. At this point, I'm going to have to do that you know, about six times because there are about six ghost crawlers in this target, and I'm going to engage a few more things. Now, there are turrets here which are going to pop up like this one right here. You have to treat almost every single one of those as if it's going to be a corrosive turret because if a corrosive turret pops up close to you, it's going to hurt because especially if you're not moving. So you need to stay a max range of everything and try and stay moving, especially if you can't remember the, where the things exactly are. This is such a large target, I don't know if the one right here is corrosive or missile, so I'm pretending it's corrosive. Turns out it's missile, but I was able to avoid that. If I had surfaced and I was stopped and it was corrosive, it would have hurt. Next group of ships is triggered. It doesn't look like there's a ghost crawler here, or if there is, it's out of range. So I'm just going to kill these few stonefish that are surfaced. Now, against the death side, there are a few things you want to do before engaging those. Number one is kill the titanium generators if at all possible, and you can outrange and kill the titanium generator here without the photon or the death side shooting at you. Number two is make sure your UAVs are hitting this and debuffing it like mine are right now, so it has reduced accuracy as well as reduced damage from my chain lightning upgrades. Now that that's dead, just outrange the corrosive scattergun turrets if they are already surfaced. If you do, they do end up shooting at you, keep moving. That's about the tips I have for you with those there. Now, against this next group of ships, I'm going to trigger them and then head off down to the bottom right, which should hopefully avoid damage. There was a building that triggered, but it was, luckily for me, at least a large one that had no weapons on it. Now, killing those, fairly easy, and then keep moving. I'm going to target the death size right here while a few other things are shooting at me. I think I debuffed that enough times and then kill these few stonefish that are still alive here and head off towards the inside of the target to trigger a few more things and hopefully get that titanium generator down first so, so if there are turrets, they do less damage. Another group of ships is triggered. I'm going to run away. If I can make sure when I'm running away, I'm moving towards an area that has another group of ships so I'm not wasting time. This is a very large target, so it is going to take you a lot longer. That's my biggest complaint with this target right here. You can see this corrosive turret did fire at me. I can't really tell if I took damage from that or not, and the ghost crawler is firing at me as well. I think I was able to avoid most of that because I kept moving and tried to stay fairly far away and avoided doubling back on myself. Now these ghost crawlers are kind of weird, and I do not like the mechanic where they're sometimes, you know, normal dive, maybe sometimes surface, and sometimes deep dive and invisible, and also can get shrouded at points. I wish they were just normal subs and you were either surfaced or underwater. I don't really like how they're so complicated. Okay, making sure to target that one if at all possible. It's sometimes hard to do because it does go away and shooting at something if I can. I'm taking a little bit more damage here than I usually do. So this is definitely going to end up being an instant repair and base run rather than an instant repair on the map run, which is probably possible if you do drive pretty well. You might think this video is getting a bit long, but notice the timer, I've only been here four minutes, so it is possible to do this, I mean it's not going to take you forever. Note that at the 10 minute mark, some things are going to start surfacing, and that's going to, you know, that's what happens. The pop-up mechanic, after five minutes, things start surfacing. There was a corrosive turret, and I'll draw your attention to the health bar on ship number three. Looks like it's still mostly full, which probably means I've taken very little corrosive damage. 
So that one right there surfaced immediately as I was in range of it, and ship number three has a little bit more damage on it, so I probably took a part of a shot from there. That's what I'm trying to get you to avoid and trying to show you. I don't like having that mechanic in the targets, but I don't make them. I just show you how to kind of do them for the least possible damage. Moving off onto the bottom left of the target, you can see there's a stonefish and a ghost crawler. The stonefish is no problem. The ghost crawler is much harder. And when you trigger this one, there's one at the top that moves as well. You can see on your screen and vice versa. These stun buildings could be useful. So if this is still alive when it's by the stun building, I'm going to shoot at that, and that should hopefully stun everything nearby. Looks like I was just too far away. But I'm going to keep shooting at things and keep them following me, so I keep doing damage to them. You can engage a few things at one time here. Just make sure you don't bite off more than you can chew and engage, say, another group of ships when there are already two ghost crawlers coming at me. It would be better to kill them straight away. And again, keep moving in a straight line. I'm sounding like a broken record, but that's really all I have. This target specifically does take a lot longer to go through, more like 8 minutes than 4 minutes, so running crews that help a little bit, like a sea serpents, wolf pack, steelheads for various reasons, all might be somewhat useful. Just realize not every crew is helpful against everything. Okay, it looks like I got that missile turret down just barely, and I killed the stun building so most things are stunned. I'm going to take in full advantage of that, kill off the small ships, and target the ghost crawler. It is going to end up moving again because it has higher stun resistance, it's stunned for a lower period of time. So it's going to, you know, come up. But that should be the last ghost crawler, and now it's just these last two missile turrets, if unless I miss nothing unless there's something else I've missed, which there's probably not, as everything should be serviced in this target in the 144 and 146. Everything surfaces after five minutes of being in here. Also note this is not an auto-friendly target. Well, that's my damage. Let's go ahead and see what the battle report says in terms of percentage, as well as I will show you my build. Now, this is damage that's a little bit more spread out, even corrosive and penetrative, which probably means I can do a better job driving, and I should have lower damage, but also it's fairly consistent across all five ships. Looks like 13 minutes damage, which is easily instant repair on base. Even if ship one and ship two each have like 40%, this is going to be instant repair and base, and the build is shown here. It's the same as previously and should be in the Google Doc in the description. And, you know, this ship is only one different, and that's all I got for you. I gave you my tips in this video. If you enjoy those, make sure you leave a like, because that lets me know that these videos are helpful for you. If you have questions on the build, the driving, or anything else in Battle Pirates, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll make sure to respond. Here's my end screen with the name of the people who are channel members. If you want your name here too, there's a little join button right next to the subscribe button, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, these, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.